and welcome to this episode of Retro Game Living Room. Today, I'm going to show you how to answer a question that I get all the time, and that question goes something like this. How much is this game worth? How much is this system worth? How much is Rob the Robot worth? Well, I'm going to show you how to figure out how much a thing is worth, a game, a system, an accessory, in this video. Spoiler alert! It's to check eBay completed auctions. But if you don't know how to do that, stick around. To determine the value of a video game, the best method is just go straight to eBay. On eBay, to the right of the search bar, there's a link that says Advanced. If you click on that, it'll take you to the Advanced Search field. So now we can search for whatever game that we want to find out how much it's worth. So Battletoads on NES was a popular game. You can search for that one. And we want to, in the Search Including section, you want to check sold listings, and your best bet is to check sold auctions. There's not a search button, so you just hit enter on your keyboard, and it'll take you to the results. So these are auctions that have already ended. So we can see that here's a loose battle toad that sold for $14.50 after 14 bids. This one sold for $12 after three bids. This one has this sleeve, and it went for $24.50. $15.50, $9.99, a lot of shipping on that though, $8 in shipping, $14.99. So the thing to do is to add these up and average them together. So just at a eyeball look, it looks like $13 or $14 is about the going price of a loose copy of Battletoads. You know, scrolling down a little further and we see the first, you know, complete in box copy. And we see that one is at $56.50. So now that we're already in advanced search, we can look up something else. So what if I want to see how much a, a Pioneer Laser Active console costs? So I can see the most recent one sold for $405 after seven bids just about a week ago with about $43 in shipping on it. So that's kind of expensive. I can scroll down a little more. I see, okay, well... This one sold for 280. I wonder what the difference between this one for 280 and this one for 405 is. Well, the title tells me it comes with the Sega Pack, which allows it to play laser active games on based on Sega hardware and games from Sega CD and Sega Genesis. Now I can scroll down and see that this one at 280 also has the Sega Pack. It plays Sega CD and Genesis. And this one at 225 has no packs. So this is just a laser display. So that's a that's an or average price, but 280 is a pretty low price. So we can go ahead and open up this auction. And if you want to see the full auction, click on our original listing. And it'll, sometimes it'll give you this annoying screen that says this listing is no longer available. Just click on the word listing. Now you get the full listing. You can see all the pictures and everything. So it looks like it's in okay shape. Yes, it does have the Sega Pack on it. But scrolling down, it says item is as is. No way to test. Drive not opening. Okay, so this is a four parts repair one that's not listed under the correct condition. So now we can see why this was so much less. Now you know how to determine the value of a game, a system, or an accessory. So tell your friends.